Hello, this is Professor Irvis White, and this is an orientation for Math 350 Math Modules. And you have eight modules, and you can take them uh, during the fall semester, and you can take as many as you want. You can take only one, or you can take all of them. So let me tell you a little bit about it. This is to supplement your um, regular math class, or you can take these modules ahead of your math class. Let's say you want to take pre-algebra, beginning algebra, intermediate algebra, or to do some refresher for any other higher math class. And you can do these guys and at the beginning and or while you are doing your math class. So let me tell you about those. You have actually whole numbers, which is taking you from the beginning then we are going to go fractions and that I know that a lot of students do need help in that portion of mathematics. Then we review decimals, ratio and proportion we focus on word problems at that point and then we do percents a lot of word problems in there and then conversions that are all usually at the end of a pre-algebra class and we never have enough time to cover those and basic geometry. So for fall I'll just give you some deadlines and I'll tell you what to do and I really really recommend that you do do these modules while you're taking a math class or ahead of your math class. Um, the first four modules whole numbers through decimals run the first eight weeks of the semester and the last portion ratio through the geometry, the last eight weeks. So you have eight weeks to finish the first four and eight weeks to finish the last four. Now, modules are not going to be free, but they are half a unit. It's the best investment you can make. And you can take as little as one for half a unit or as many as eight for a total of four units if you take all eight of them. So, let's get started. Your lifeline is ivc.edu. I'll actually go there and show you around a little bit so that you familiarize yourself with what's available. When you go to academics, first off, you have to check. IVC gives you an email address. This is where you go to check your email. Um, then, this is where you go to sign up for classes, my site. And this is where you're going to go Blackboard to do your modules online. So this is not going to have any conflict with your regular classes. But to show you around a little bit, let me show you. You go to academics, you go to schools and departments, you go to math. If you look in there, in the mathematics area, you have a lot of information about the modules. If you look in here, basic math modules, you click on it. And this tells you about what people were doing and how the, it helped them. These are videos and you can watch them. And then, um, you know, you can see this is just the two examples out of many. And then if you want to do um, like really hands-on orientation, this has like introduction, getting started, a little bit goes a little bit deeper than this video and accessing your module, watching the videos. How do you do all these things one step at a time? And then um, you can do that. I need to change these um, dates because I have to give you some new dates. And you, um, if you want to sign up for the Math Lab, you can also do that. And you do that right here, Math Tutorial Center, and that's free. You can watch the videos in the Math Lab, for example. And this tells you how do you sign up. Uh, this is the coordinator for the math lab and it's in B300 building on the second floor. And just check out the IVC map and you're going to see that. So this is pretty much in a nutshell what, what is available and I'll show you a little bit more uh, you know, about how to go into Blackboard and everything. So let's go back to the uh, presentation. Uh, my web page, I told you that you go to the, um, to right here, and remember I just taught, you know, took you to academics and schools and departments, 
and mathematics. This is where we were, remember? And then I showed you all the around. Now, if you go to faculty, you're going to go to my web page. Two faculty members have web pages. I'm one of them. Here's my email address. Here's my phone number. If you click on my link, and you're going to get uh, a lot of information in there. Math videos. Now, you can actually watch those modules videos here. It says arithmetic topics if you click on them. And you're going to have all these module videos in there. All you have to do is just click, put your headphones in, in the math lab, and watch those videos. Um, students swear by it, and it is very, very useful. And they are just the traditional videos, and you just watch them. Let's say, how do you read? How do you write things? And it's just very traditional. Have your little pencil and, um, you know, paper and just take notes and watch these things as if you are in a, in a class. We will learn All right? to read and write numbers. For this, we will need to develop a little table that... Okay. If I go a little bit, you'll see that, you know, I'm actually writing in there. It's a video and it's talking to you and all that good stuff. Okay? So... Those are the videos. Now, let me go back to my web page. If you go to schedule, hopefully the, all right. Here's my schedule. And for the fall, I am available on Tuesdays and Thursdays in my office hours. So you can come and see me. Um, and I'm in the math lab um, after um, two o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can come and see me. We can go to the math lab. We can do your modules together. If you cannot come during this time, you can go to the math lab anytime you want. Just go to uh, B300 uh, building second floor and sign up for it. It is free. So, um, and you can do all your, um, all your uh, modules work in there with the help of a tutor. So it is a really, really good deal. Um, so that's all you need. You need to know about the math videos and you need to know about my schedule. That's all you need to know in here. So let's go back to the, or, to the presentation. I just told you about the math, my web page. All right, so let's go and to the uh, web access. I showed you where the blackboard was. You have to click on it. And this is what it is. This is the URL for it. If you click on it, it will take you to Blackboard. And I will take you to, to that. And if you run into problems uh, in Blackboard, you're kind of confused. It doesn't like your username or something. This is the guy to call, and this is the number to call. All right. Uh, I showed you my, where my videos were, but this is the URL for it. URL means the address. And here it is. Here are some deadlines. You need to finish modules A through D. You start in August and you finish them in October. And then um, you come for an orientation. If these videos are not enough for you, okay? And then you're going, oh, I can't do this. Come, please. On 8.23, that's on a Friday, I believe. Yes, it is. And at 67, BISTIC 104, I'll get you all started. You don't have to do anything. Modules E through H, that one starts in 1021. But if you come one time to this, the first one, you don't have to come to the second one. This is for students who miss the first part. They go, okay, I really need help. And they come to the second part, meaning the last four modules. So you only have to do this orientation one time. So come and see me so we get to meet and I can see how I can help you, um, you know, in person. All right. So. You have to watch this video to do the orientation, and I'll show you how to take the diagnostic test. That will tell you what you know and what you don't know, okay? Um, so you sign up for the modules, watch this thing, and then take the diagnostic test. Take a survey, tell me a little bit about yourself. Get a printout, and then um, watch the video, I mean, get the uh, printouts for the videos while you're watching them, and then print out the worksheets, do the worksheets, and then take, to finish the module, what you need to do, you'll have to take a final exam. That's the only thing I will look at. But I give you a lot of pointers about how to be successful in the modules. But what I will look at, it pretty much at the very end, you take the final, you have to score 70%, and I give you a pass or no pass. You get college credit for it, and you're done, and it helped you, all right? 
So that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go to um, Blackboard and I'll show you around, okay? So remember, this is the IBC site. Here's the Blackboard. You click on it. Once you sign up for the math modules, you will automatically be in the Blackboard and you'll automatically be given a username and password. So I will enter my username, first and your last name. Yours will be first and your last name and a number at the end. Okay, and then your password, I think it defaults to the last four digits of your social with zeros or something that you assign when you sign up at IVC. So, you get in and on here, you're going to see your Blackboard things, okay? So, it's going to be right around here someplace and it's going to say... 20133, it'll start with that number, and then it will say 3A, 350A, B, C, whatever that you signed up for. So let me go and click on one of them, and this is where you get started. What I recommend you do, and you read the announcements very, very carefully. Okay, now, like I said, the first four modules needs to be done by October 18th. You can do them on October 18th if you want. You have until midnight. But the, what I would suggest, you do these things, stagger these modules, start in August, finish by September 6th, and then start in September, finish it, you know, end of September, those kind of things. These are my suggested guidelines for you in terms of deadlines. Drop that deadline for the first four is this. Drop that deadline for the last four is this. But... I recommend that you do this, okay? So you have your, um, you know, your link for the, to watch this video. And uh, a typical uh, module will look like this. They will have an announcement in there. Remember, I was talking about the diagnostic test. I want you to do this first. You have to only do it one time. So when you go to diagnostic test, and then this is like it says, self-diagnostic test. You need to take it one time and do it in one sitting, do it without a calculator because this is for you to find out how much you remember for math, okay? And it's multiple choice. You do all this stuff, you bubble it in, and then at the end, do it by hand. Don't use a calculator. Save and submit. And like I left a bunch of them, um, you know, blank because I didn't have time. Click on OK, and what it will do, it will just tell you what you missed. For each question you missed, it says, OK, uh, you missed it. Select the answer. I didn't give an answer. I just didn't remember, right? And it says response. We recommend that you take module A and study, OK, reading and writing. It tells you exactly which module is going to be helpful. If you find yourself, you missed a little bit of A and a little bit of B and a little C, and the, I, I recommend you take all of them. It will cost you four units, but it will allow you to do the um, review. All right, the handouts. If you click on the handouts, this is the syllabus for the class. I want you to get a printout of this. And here it is. It tells you what I just told you in the handout, and I would like you to keep an eye on it. Every module has the subsections. A, for example, module A, A1 through A8. I want you to give yourself deadlines. I want you to take like two weeks to finish mod each module. Videos watch as you watch them, put a check mark. Worksheets done, put a check mark. Uh, section drill, that's a little quiz, check mark. I want you to fill out those deadlines and pace yourselves and then put a check mark as you do them. Um, so that way, you, you keep an eye on your deadlines, okay? Um, entry survey. I want you to do an entry survey and tell me about yourself. And the other thing, you remember the videos I showed you from my website? You can also watch those videos here. Now, first you can get a handout of it. This is kind of an interesting, like let's say one section. It will give you a handout sideways because I just wrote those sideways. This is what I write in the videos in paper format. Print a handout and then just mark it. It will work really, really well. And then go watch the video. Does that make sense? Uh, we also caption the videos for those of you who like seeing or need to see those subtitles. 
you can you can watch the sub you know captioned videos, and instead of um, you know see uncaptioned videos, and you're gonna see it. Hopefully, this is gonna open, and you get started. And here we go. Do you see it? And today we will talk about rounding whole numbers. Here we go. Here's your subtitle. Numbers is to do them in steps. How about we? Talk about rounding to the nearest tens first. You see it? What that means is think of, um, let's say we want to round the number 16 to the nearest 10. Okay, that's pretty much it. So you, you watch the videos and presentations. The, after you do it, you do one section at a time, you go to worksheets and you click on the video that you watched get a print out of this worksheet and do this. You had the lecture and then you're doing the worksheet. Okay, well how do you know you did it right? Then you're gonna go worksheet key. Here you go. Here we go, here are your answers. Take your red pen, mark yourself. You made a lot of mistakes, go back and watch the video again. That's it. You don't have to buy a book, nothing. Alright? You do this for each section and you mark your little schedule then you have to go scroll down if you look at down and each one has a, like an interactive and a printout like on the section interactive is just the one that you actually enter your you know answers and then see how you did in each section do you know how to read do you know how to write and then if you make a lot of mistakes save and submit then go watch the videos and repeat the procedure again all right does that make sense now what am I going to look at? What I'm going to look at is your final exam. Where is that? So if you go to worksheets and tests, you, round, you scroll down, final exam prep. That is the one that's not going to be graded. You click on it and you do it. This is the one that's going to be graded. Now let me look at this. You have to do a couple of things. How do you finish this class? And I'm just telling you, you need to you know, um, get 70%. Do the positive attendance confirmation. This is like a state requirement. Um, you're telling me that you did spend time. You didn't just go ahead and, and just, you know, took the final. So you have to say yes and true to that. And then you take final exam one. You score 70%, you're done. Move to the next module. You didn't score 70%, go to final exam two. The only time that I have to give a no pass in the modules is when the students just forget to take the final exam. Make sure you take the final exam in the deadlines that I suggested you to take. Anytime that you have a problem, on Tuesdays, Thursdays, call me on the phone, 4515506. Email me, iwhite at ivc.edu. When you go to my web, website, website that I showed you, you'll see all that. Watch the videos on a regular basis, and I promise you, these modules will help you out.